Hey everyone, welcome back to the workshop. Uh, today I got a Maddox ball joint service kit. I never really had a use for one of these. I never really looked into them, but now that I'm working on the Buick Wildcat, I'm going to be doing the ball joints on that and the suspension bushings and, and stuff. So I figured it might be a good tool to have because a lot of times those things, I have a shop press, but they're shaped funny and you can't really get them in the press. And I got this from Harbor Freight. This is not a promotional video. I paid for this with my own money. Um, but it was on sale, which was awesome. So I figured, what the heck? Like, it must be a sign. Um, and this thing, it's a little deceiving on the website pictures. But look at how freaking big this is. I mean, it weighs a ton. It's real beefy. It's huge. It comes with all the, uh, all the different pieces. I won't go into the every single thing on how to use it, but it's got the different pieces to um, press out different types of ball joints and press them back in again. And come to find out, you can actually use this to do U-joints. I never knew that. And I'm gonna do the U-joint on the Buick's drive shaft because as you can see, I never knew this until now, but they're a multi-piece drive shaft, right? So that's a piece that goes into the transmission. You've got the center bearing here. And then you've got like this CV joint, which can be taken apart in service. They don't recommend you touch it though, cause it's like a balanced unit and it's in good shape. So I'm going to refrain from taking that apart, but the rear U joint that goes into the rear axle, that's the one that gets all the road spray and the dirt and it's a little rough. Um, and I already have the drive shaft out, so I figured Let's go ahead and replace it. And then I found out, you know, I can use this. Normally I use either my shop press or a vise to push out U-joints the normal way, but this thing being so long and they tell you not to put stress on the, the CV joint, you know, it'll make it a little hard to get it into my press. So I figured, oh, I'll give this a shot. So I'll show you how it goes on. Just give me a sec. Okay. So for U-joints, it's pretty straightforward. You don't have to use any of the adapters, at least not for this one. Uh, as you know, or you may know, uh, the way you do U-joints is you press out the cups from one side to the other, right? And you get the cup to pop out the bottom. You pull that cup out, and then it'll give you room to back the cup, the, the trunnion back out, and then you lift it out of the yoke like that. So um, that's what this will do, right? And I got it started before. It was pretty beastly to get moving. I did that off camera, but it start, it's moving now. I got that in there. It's a 7 8 nut on the end. You just put it on there. And you just crank it. And you just push it through and it's uh it's pretty handy so there it is and uh i'll probably do another video when i when it comes time to do some other stuff to show the different features of this but uh yeah we'll see how it goes thank you have a good one